sell you. There's been a lot going on. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes. And quite frankly, I think it was time for me to come back. And let me explain why. But first, we gotta go over to the shop right now, which we're doing. We gotta go over to the shop first and do some maintenance or not even maintenance, some repairs to the Trailblazer. Uh, she's running fine and everything, but uh, something's up with the cooling fan. Uh, as if you, as some of you guys already know, for the, my fellow Trailblazer SS owners, these trucks have a, uh, what you would call an electronic fan clutch, and mine is stuck on. So uh, it's doing that annoying humming sound. It sounds like a freaking truck driving down the street because that, that's all you hear you don't even know no exhaust either you can well, I mean you can hear the exhaust but you hear more of the fan than the exhaust but uh yeah we're gonna go do that I ordered a new one but I'm just so annoyed of it I ended up getting a used one right now from some guy on Instagram uh, I got the fan shroud too because it ate up the one it has so don't ask me about how but it just ate it up and uh well I'm gonna replace the fan and the fan clutch too might as well you can, I got it real cheap, I got it for 80 bucks, hooked it up. So he says it still works, I'm all for it. I did order a new one from AC Delco, which was like 300 bucks. Uh, and it doesn't get here until like two more days. So for now, I'll rock this one and then later on when I do something else to it, I'll replace the fan clutch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And we got a uh, 2005 or 2006, no 2005 350Z automatic. Uh, we're doing the shift kit on it so we already got the shift kit installed if that's something you guys would be interested in watching us do uh, as far as the valve body work installing the shift kit itself uh, let me know in the comments below I'll help you guys out with that uh, right now we're just gonna install it and then that's pretty much it oh and I also have to uh, fix the circuit for the brake solenoid on the TCM uh, those go bad when you try doing burnouts in the car stock uh, I don't know why don't ask me why but uh, yeah, they go out. So we're gonna solder it back on and it should be good to go. It should be good to go. So we're pulling into the shop now and let's get to it. Well, here it is. The uh, valve body for the 350Z. We ended up uh, soldering the TCM back and solenoid is working. So we, have, we shouldn't have any issues with that anymore. This transmission was really, really, really burnt up as far as the oil feels black. Uh, yeah, we, we did change the oil maybe like a couple months ago, but the way this car was being driven, who knows? So we'll find out. And for those of you guys that would like to know which shift kit we are using for the 350Z, this one right here, all the stuff is inside already. So. The only thing we got to do next is add this little pin with this little valve to, I'll show you guys here. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. This section of the casing, cap that, and we're good to go. So now, I skipped the whole, me installing the whole valve body because it's kind of hard when you're doing it underneath the car. It's pretty heavy for one hand after holding it for so long. Um, I'm doing... An oil cooler that they brought which honestly i don't even like well it's camera focused because make me look dark uh i don't really like this oil cooler i don't know where they got it i'm pretty sure they got it off ebay or one of their homies or something it's one of these long oil coolers that go in trucks well it was here but now it's in the car i totally forgot uh, <laughs> um yeah i don't know why they would bring me this but they wanted it installed the only space that would be able to hold it was a bash bar. So yeah, it's freaking huge. There's no need for that. They sell these nice ones on Z1 that go right here, you know, and they do all the lines over there. But we gotta do all this shit because the customer wants it. So yeah, now I just gotta run the lines and we're good to go. Good to go, go. We are making a quick little pit stop in Mexico where a pool a day keeps the doctor away. Hell yeah. No check-in delight either, so that's 
a good thing. That's a plus. That's a very big plus. And the oil gauge pressure, I know someone called me out on it last time. I had it working on my AEF side and something happened to it. But I know I have oil pressure. If not, this truck would have blown up in that pool. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, but I definitely need to fix it right away because I get paranoid driving without a uh, oil pressure gauge. Even though the 370Z doesn't have an oil pressure gauge. It has an oil temperature gauge, but not an oil pressure gauge, which is so weird. But yeah, it's, that's just me being paranoid. I do gotta fix it. Sometimes it turns on, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it has proper current, it's properly set up. It's not like some janky radio shop did it. But uh, yeah, so my thought is maybe the AEM gauge went bad, which I hope it didn't, because it's pretty pricey. And I've only had it for like a couple months, maybe like six tops, if that. And half that time, it was sitting on the shelf. And then three months after that, I decided to put it on. So yeah, um, I gotta do that. And that's it. But let's pull up to the house and uh, we'll get back to it. Hold up, wait a minute, let me explain again. So I went home and yeah, I didn't feel like picking up the camera anymore. Um, back at the shop, I told you guys I was gonna test drive the 350Z and that's what we're here to do today. The shift kit that we're using, the tra Transgo shift kit on this 350Z DE. I took it out for a spin already. God damn, it feels really good. Tip, or things to keep in mind with this car. It came in for a uh, transmission brake solenoid issue. We ended up changing out all seven solenoids. It has seven solenoids on this uh, valve body. We ended up doing the shift kit, obviously. And then what else did we do? Oh, I ended up soldering the TCM back together from the circuits in the inside. Um, we also did a transmission oil cooler that the customer provided. These things, I normally use these transmission oil coolers for like Chevy pickup trucks to the 1500, 2500. This thing is freaking huge. It's like, yeah, you guys can see that from here to the here. So, but we ended up making it work. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Z1 sells one that's, you know, you know, the, the normal VQ ones. Um, there's that. Um, and another thing, the transmission had a lot of metal inside of it when we opened it up. Um, customer is aware of that. So it should be no, no if, ands, or buts about it if the transmission ends up going later out, the, later down the road, but that's all the metal. You guys can see that even in the oil underneath it there was a sorry i was gonna use the s word but sorry there was a lot of uh a lot of metal underneath it so this this car has been through through some stuff so yeah look at that look at that i took some time cleaning it completely so yeah this transmission is hurt so we'll see how last it, it we'll see how long it lasts uh, as long as they take good care of it and you know they don't push it to the limit then we should be fine or it should be fine um i know it's gonna get tuned so blessing to the car <laughs> so yeah let's go take it out for a test drive and this car's been having some issues starting up right now because the goddamn battery is dead and oh my god it's annoying turning it on it's like it'll give it enough enough uh bolts to start it but it's like nah, nah, nah. and i'm like halfway out the car already trying to go get the jump the jump starter but uh yeah so we got no check engine light on or or codes for the transmission we do have check uh, check engine light on i don't know what for it's probably for the uh cats it has test pipes on right now oh uh, one thing you guys might hear on this test run is the struts in the back suspension is crap and then the uh the diff pushing the diff pushing is kicking out like, like a horse kicking but uh the top on the road to mexico and then uh go from there i don't know if i want to take off traction control mm. we're not gonna do too much of a hard pull because i don't want to mess with the car that much but i do gotta test drive it so here we go
right here. I oh, was trying to do a little takeoff. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me here. Uh, I know it's a little dark. There it is. That's the perfect, perfect lighting that I need. So we got that car out of the way. Now I want to talk to you guys about what's been going on uh, behind the scenes and a little bit of why uh, you know I took this long break. I'm not gonna try to get into too much detail with it. Hopefully you guys can understand that part. Um, but I'll just I'll say enough. I'll, just, I'll say enough so you guys can understand and hopefully bring some awareness to these types of situations that happen in life. So now let's get to the why I took this long break uh, from YouTube. And honestly, I think I really needed it even though I just started YouTube, but I took a break in a lot of things in my personal life. Um, I'm just gonna get straight to it. Uh, I know a lot of people that are watching this, this video um, I think you guys can relate to it. Uh, I ended up losing someone very close to me. Uh, someone that's, yeah, just there's no other way of putting it. Someone that I, I loved, someone that I cherished, someone that was very meaningful for me. Um, this person was in a motorcycle accident. Uh, pretty much someone did an illegal U-turn and well that was that um i do want to bring awareness to this only because i know i have a lot of friends that ride motorcycles and you know it's fun i even i've even thought about getting a motorcycle myself but after these events i you know i've been rethinking uh all these things you can be the best rider you can be the safest rider but that doesn't make everyone else out there a better driver in their vehicle you know um, unfortunately uh, these things happen in life and you know there's no way of knowing when or how or why these things happen but they just do uh, it took me a while to cope with this so um, I'm feeling the rhythm back again and I know this person wouldn't want me to just be you know always you know grieving and being sad boys and all that but uh yeah that's pretty much why um and i'm i'm keeping this promise to myself for him um uh, i'm gonna try to do the best content i can because i've always told him even before i started youtube i always told him i wanted to do youtube i wanted to bring all this crazy content and do all these builds and actually we were talking about a build that is it's in the background you know it's in it's just something I'm doing in the side without showing you guys. Eventually I'll show it to you guys, but it was a build that I started and we were in the in the talks of doing some crazy stuff because he had just started getting, or he just got his equipment to start welding. And you know, we were, <laughs> shit, a welder comes in handy everywhere, you know? So we were gonna start doing some crazy stuff, but things happen and yeah, um, I, to all my riders out there, please be safe. Please kiss your loved ones always always love them never leave them with an argument or anything like that never leave your house with an argument or in bad terms just try to make make sure everyone's good and if you're gonna keep riding ride crazy or whatever just be safe be aware of your surroundings and godspeed to everyone that's out there and anyone that's been in an accident you guys know it's a life-changing experience but it is what it is as you guys can tell, it's a little hard for me to talk to you guys about this, and it is. It really is hard talking about this, but I told myself I gotta get up, start making these, these videos, start getting rowdier, start getting crazier. Not too crazy, but just enough uh, to where you guys want to get that, that content that I was giving you guys. And trust me, I had a lot of stuff planned out, but I'm telling you guys, it was really hard for me to get up. and start recording even going to the shop it was just kind of hard because he's my buddy was always there with me and you know i i think you guys might have seen him in a couple of uploads but not really so yeah but with all that being said i hope you guys understand this and even, even if you guys don't i it is what it is you know i i'm doing it for myself i'm not doing it to please anyone you know if i am then great <laughs> if i'm not it is what it is but 
I do want to show you guys something before we end this video. Someone's here. Hold that. Hmm. Just in time. Check this out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just in time, and I had just messaged the uh, the shop that I heard I had ordered these things for or from. Sorry, can't even talk. I just had some bomb ass dinner. But let me bring the other one over here to the light. It's gonna be a problem because I can't even carry it. There you go. Now I just got a call, Fernie. And he's gonna be excited because he's been asking me for these for a minute. So we got Fernie his two inch primary with a three inch outlet headers from Speed Engineering for his silver auto. We got the headers and the Y pipe. And this guy still has me on hold. Kind of crazy. But, uh, anyways, I'm waiting for him to finish with the goddamn customer. Yo. Hello. Hello. You know what? I'm going to start charging you every time you put me on hold. I'm going to start charging you every time you put me on hold. You're going to start charging me? Yeah, every time you put me on hold, I'm going to start charging you. So uh, I'll have to charge you for that personal phone call right now. Interesting. My carrier's you know, fucking getting at me, Chief. You know what? I'm just going to keep these headers and the <laughs> Wi-Fi. What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, wait, you got my headers? Technically, they're mine because they, they were shipped to my house. So, you know. Well, that trailblazer is going to be mine then in a couple days, Chief. I'm pulling up to that little parking spot. Taking the Z2 road down. <laughs> If you can catch up <laughs> with your slow truck, start, huh? <laughs> yeah, it won't start. Good luck with that. What's up, man? What's going on? Nothing. I just wanted to call you to let you know your headers are here. Okay, oh, you send me a photo. Yeah, I'll send you pictures. Preferably of you standing next to him. Oh my God, that's gonna whatever, cost whatever you. Whatever you want to be wearing is up to you. But you know, yeah. this is on camera, by the way. I'm recording a oh, vlog right now. So. Hell yeah. Oh God. That's right. And Isaac's coming out. And Jesus Christ, bro! It's 2024. <laughs> it's 2024, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, it's all right Isaac. It's, it's okay, okay, bro. That's why. That, no, I was gonna say something, but no. Don't say it. Don't say yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. God damn it. Oh, oh, loud. Well, anyways, I just wanted to call you and I'll let you go back to your O'Reilly's terrible hey, customer hey, service. Hey, DM the guy for the for the six up. Oh yeah. Wait, is this actually on camera? What? Are you actually recording this? Yeah, but my camera's about to die, so I gotta pick it up in a bit. Hold on. Well, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting those headers to get here today at least today it was already it was already like what seven o'clock when they showed up yeah which is pretty weird god damn this light is so bright first i'm complaining about the lighting now i'm complaining about too much lighting but anyways there's something i've been wanting to show you guys and i posted it up on my instagram i probably said this already but i do have some merch for you guys do not blow up the comments talking crap about this shirt because this is just a sample oh my god it got dark hold up hold up Wait a minute. I love that meme. So yeah, he was like, hold up, wait a minute. Um, but yeah, this was a sample that I got done and it wasn't done in the way or in the mm, the material I wanted it done. Um, Cause I want to give you guys some nice, super, super nice material, uh, material that is worth dropping your money into. But this is the design and I'm going to show you guys the design right now. Bam, look at that. I know it's all wrinkly, which is a material I do not like. If you guys have a certain material that you guys would recommend. I just I hate this plastic stuff, especially right now in the summertime. Oof, your back would be uh, not so happy about this. But you got the uh, palm trees, the East LA arch in the background, the Trailblazer SS with her welds, easy performance. And you got a little view of downtown LA right there. And you guys can see that right here in this little corner. But trust me, when these shirts are done, oof, god damn, it's gonna be worth every penny. And then you got the front logo, nice and small. I don't want it too big. But yes, sir, yes, Doritos. Oh man, I wish I had it done in a different material. It bothers me. Sorry if today was more of a me doing a whole lot of talking type of vlog, but it's just I had to give you guys an explanation. And I wanted to tell you guys what we were doing around the shop. Um, I did leave something out that I'm going to do on the next video. A lot of you guys have been requesting for another update on the 4 Lady. 
in the trailblazer so that's something that i'm going to be doing for you guys because a lot of you guys have been hitting me up with questions and it seems to be the same questions over and over again from different people so i'm going to get a new video going for you guys so you guys can better understand how it's how it's installed and what to look forward after that um but yes uh i'm going to be doing that for you guys and with that being said you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are back and we are coming at you guys even harder by what by me saying we it's just me <laughs> but i'll catch you guys on the next one peace